So you caught that one? Okay, one more. So if you wonder if there's any big fish in this water right here behind the house, and this is a tanigi from there. We want to chop it up and put it in the freezer and have fish here as we want to and enjoy it. And it looks nice too, boy. Check that out. I guess that fish is probably close to four foot long. So Melinda's brother Marvin, I'm gonna ask if he'll cut this up for us when he gets here so we can package this thing up and put it in the freezer. But I hope to eat some fresh tanigi today, man. That is just something I really enjoy. <laughs> is, is that your babies? <laughs> yeah. I even smashed the one. Uh-oh. I don't have any fisher, so I said, oh, no. Oh, where's the basket at? Oh, let me... Oh, that thing's full. Let me get you a, a fresh tray. Hold on, Mom. Here, I got this one. Come on. Go on. I already smashed the one. So I take it you're ovulating? <laughs> I see your egg. This one here also. Oh, <laughs> you got them everywhere. Yeah, I didn't know that there's a bunch today that I... Oh, you I did. You it. smashed one right there. Is that going to be my breakfast? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, here. You need to clean those off. It's got that yolk on the outside. Bring that other one with yolk on it and I'll cook it out here, babe. Nice. Good life. Need to clean the chicken cage. It's time to get them a little feed. That'll wake them up. Good morning, Melly. Morning. To the dentist. Mm, Are you going to get those braces removed, babe? Please. What braces? The braces on your face. You ah. said you're going to the dentist. What <laughs> braces do you think I'm talking about? <laughs> you silly girl. I wish, though. I'm going to remove this because. Just remove. I'm telling you, I got okay. wire cutters and a chisel right inside. I should have removed this. We have a grill today and yeah, yeah. I want to nigi today. Then they go up at the moon with not being able to go up with a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Well, let me show you what all's happening around the build here today, everybody. On the build, we are about to texture. So we got our old tarpaulins cut. Joel took scissors and cut up this old ragged tarpaulin. We took our scraps of tiles, flipped them upside down and used them as weight to hold that tarp down flat so we can get a nice clean edge on the texture all the way around. Everything's masked off. And including, let me make sure, I'm gonna put these wires here up so they don't mess up the texture as the gun blows. All right. And we got all the CR right here, all taped off too, so he can spray the ceiling in it. Man, that texture is gonna change the game on this a lot. And Coming up here to this next, the small room up here, it's the same game. We've got tarpaulin down 
and it looks like his tape didn't stick good. <laughs> he stuck the tape all the way to the plastic, so there's no uh, there's no tape sticking there because it's plastic all behind it. We'll correct that real quick. Same thing, got everything prepped, and same story again, the ceiling in here in the CR will get sprayed as well. I did a little work on this window. When they installed it a long time ago, they were doing a horrible job. They were battling with it, and I just left it until we were ready to do something here today. And I got here and worked it over, and it's just perfect now. And I ran out of caulk. I need to go get another tube and finish my caulking right up in that one corner. But it's good to go. The guys are cutting me some tabs or they just finished cutting tabs for a boat project that I got going on out there. Let's take you up top up here. Show you what's been going on as well. When the guys was here doing a precast the other day, I finally finished this off here at the top of the stairs. And you see this here. We did a precast on the little crown mold on the top. They're touching up skim coat in here on the bite now. Man, that just looks 1,000 times better. It's all finished out. That is looking really, really good. Real good. And let me take you on around up here and show you more. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? All right, well, Nardo's up here working on all this too. We're trying to get everything prepped where we poured these before. It's a little rough out here. They're working on that outside edge on the outside of the wall. Let's go upstairs and we can see where the real work's been going on. They've been doing all of this, man. Just look at this. Look at this, man. Check this out. Check it out. We got our little addition built right here where the roof, roof slopes on up. Let me step up here. Yeah, check that out. And outside right here, let's see if we can get it. We did the crown on that. Let's go up here at the top. I'll show you what else is going on. So, got really hot and this stuff will dry too fast on him, but Marvin started working on this inside wall right here. And he's gonna do these columns coming up. But we also, we have been putting this steel right here. Yeah, it's so hot up here in this time of day to be up here welding on this. Just, it's a very hot day. So they'll be back welding in the rest of the little tabs. You can see like right over there, the little tabs. They'll be back over welding those on in the morning time. And they'll get those on up here and we'll get all these purlins hung. Uh, you see there's more of Precast work down there on top. Uh, gentleman was here the other day, really nice guy. My God, I enjoy visiting with him. I wish he could have just stayed for a couple of days. And uh, he was up here and he was asking me what those are called. And I told him, <laughs> honest to God, I don't know. He said, I think they're called like fennels or something like that. So you guys, uh, you tell me what they are right there. What would you call those pieces and like the ones that I put on right there? down around underneath down here. What is the technical name for those? And I'm be really honest, I don't know. I don't know. I'll admit when I don't know and I do not know. So you all educate me and then I'll know from there on and I'll add another little thing into the index.
You need to strain that. Okay. There's a little test spot right here on the mirror. Ooh, that's a lot of air pressure. You may turn it down outside. Yeah. Give me about. All right. Let's see. Try it again, Cap. Okay. okay. Try it. That good? <laughs> it's mosquito. It's sticking them to the wall. <laughs> They're gonna be there like dinosaurs, lost forever. <laughs> you start right at the at the top, or start at the bottom. Start at the top, okay? <laughs> Hit that little spot right there behind that faucet. There you go. Do your corners. You're getting wavy there. Hey, and, and look here. You don't want to go at an angle like this. You want to stay straight with it, okay? Uh, see how it didn't get here. So I just slow down back up. Just back up a little bit. There you go. Try it again. You don't have to get real close to it. Cap got it. He's tall. Try again. Here you go. Let him go for it again, Cap. Yeah. Right along here. You don't, you don't have to get up real close, though. I see you're kind of having a hard time reaching that top. We'll, uh, you, you shoot all the stuff low and Cap will shoot that high, let okay? Let me get the seat. Let me get the seat. I'll go ahead and turn it over again. Get right over there, down in that very corner. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Go right up this edge.
Now caps your helper. <laughs> <laughs> now, my kind of look here, step, don't get too close. And just kind of go back and forth like this because you see it's a line, a line. Just kind of, just kind of step. You don't have to go exact. Just kind of spray light over it, okay? Just kind of go. Keep moving. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Looks good. Don't ever under it. Don't don't overdo it because sometimes if you think oh a little more a little more you'll start getting it real heavy and you'll get too much. So you're doing good just like that right there. Just stop at that. It looks better when it dries than it may look right now. Go ahead. You're doing good, man. going to take his little break real quick when we mix that, all right? Okay. Mock, there's some Cokes in there in the, the cooler. Just get what you want in there, man. Yeah, the chick feeds. So, I want to turn Mock Mock loose on it. I can see him watching Caps every move, so intense, man. And I said, you know what? Plus, holding that thing really kills Caps' shoulders and neck. He can't do that very long. So I kind of feel bad bothering Cap with it. But it's kind of cool. Cap's working on a place here in the Philippines, too. So that's yeah. also cool. But, man, Mock loves to learn to do things, man, something new. So when I said, hey, Mock, you do it. Boy, he was just cheesing, man. And uh, I think he'd, he'd do fine, you know. He was trying to get up really close with it, yeah. though, and it was making it spray up. Top pattern, just step back a little bit and do it to it. But, man, I'll sharpen him up. I'll have much more work for him. And see here, we're using this old, <laughs> this is actually for covering up food, keeping flies off of it. And I've used this catching fish with and everything. But right now we're using it as a sifter now. And you see, just like with the sifter, how it's caught these big chunks. And these are the things right here that'll clog that gun up when you're spraying it. Get in there and make your job a real nightmare. Uh, so you want to get those out. This is like sifting flour. Yeah, they got a refill anyway. We're soon gonna transfer. He's about done in here.
Well, I didn't catch it because I had low back, but my mock and cap came in here and June being their helper and they got this other room done. I think Mock did the biggest part of it and I think he's doing an absolutely great job. He's just, he's glowing, he's blooming. It's exciting that he got to do this work. I'm excited he did some of it too. So I like him to learn things. It looks good. This room looks great. Did he spray these walls? Yeah. Wow, he did even better. Yeah. Looks good. You spray the ceiling or he spray the ceiling? I spray the ceiling. Man, you need to sharpen your work up. You're getting sloppy. I know it. You may get my mock show you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they can spend the rest of the afternoon doing cleanup then. Mark, I'll just let y'all spend the rest of the afternoon cleaning up, clean the air compressor, wipe down that blue hose. We got to clean that gun really good. Yeah. No, you know, okay, so here's how you do that. You push this back. Don't pull the hose. Just push this back. No, take your fingers and pull back. There you go. That's hey. it. Hey, hey, Columba. <laughs> Everybody, thank you again for watching the video of the day. For watching us get these rooms ready to uh, start painting tomorrow. It's going to be exciting. So the guy's going to go up and work on the roof in the morning. And why it's not so super, super hot. And go up there welding those little metal tabs onto that channel for the purlins to hang. And then about midday, they're going to shift from there down to these rooms down below. Get out of that heat and preparing the walls and all and start putting on coats of primer on the walls and the ceilings everywhere. Um, and maybe even possibly follow right, right up and behind that with paint. Again, I appreciate you all watching and just seeing this journey and I hope that uh, you get some kind of entertainment value out of it. I hope that you get a little bit of maybe a little know-how or a little inspiration if you're tackling a job no matter where you are in the world that hey, you can just jump in there and do it like Mont Mont did today. He went in there and he took charge. And he did the other room on the front side. I didn't get the video of it because it had a low battery on the camera. But he did that whole room and he did a great job on it. It looks really good. So uh, at the same time, I hope maybe it'll inspire you. You know, the, not just follow the regular mold, even if you're building here in the Philippines, you know, do something that you want, not just what they're used to, okay? And trust me, in the end, they'll be excited because they did something different. They're just nervous to do it, and so sometimes they'll try to hold you back from doing it. Everyone, take care, God bless, and we will see you on the next one. Well, I was inside and heard a dog barking, and the dog was in our backyard. So I scared the dog off, but then I walked on around further and looked down the beach here, and this big pile of wood here was on fire. I think this was somebody's firewood pile. There was some burning going on down there in a little pit below it. And it must have moved on up or whatever. And, and it caught their whole little pile of wood on fire. So I brought a pail of water over here. And I'm trying to just contain it so it don't spread anymore. Hello, ma'am. Are you Hi. single? Mm -hmm. I'm single right now. Where's your husband? He's sleeping. Let me in. Which room's he in? Let me check the floor. Okay. Do, Don't even Does he sleep really hard? Yes, very hard. How hard? I sleep. <laughs>